हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कोहिन सेल्फ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग मैप और के एस ओ एफ एम सो लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड द ट्रेनिंग एल्गोरिज्म फर्स्ट एंड देन वील डू अ क्वेश्चन स्टेप जीरो इज टू इनिशलाइज द वेट्स रैंडम वैल्यूज मे बी एस्यूम्ड इनिशलाइज द लर्निंग रेट अल्फा स्टेप वन इज टू कैलकुलेट स्क्वायर ऑफ द इक्विडियन डिस्टेंस दैट इज फॉर ईच जे इक्वल टू वन टू एम डी जे इक्वल टू डबल सिगमा आई इक्वल टू वन टू एम रिप्रेजेंट्स द नंबर ऑफ इनपुट वैक्टर्स J equal to one to m represents the number of clusters. X i is input. W i j is the weight with which the input vector is, is associated with the cluster. See, for example, if we have two clusters and four input vectors, then we need to calculate the square of the Euclidean distance of x one with y one and y two. And out of these two, whichever distance is lower, that cluster will be called as the winning cluster. See, step two, find winning unit index j. so the dj is minimum so whichever uh, distance between the cluster is lower is that particular uh, cluster will be called as the winning cluster step 3 is to for all units j within a specific neighborhood of j and for all i calculate the new weights and we'll apply weight updation on the winning cluster by the formula wij new equal to wij old plus alpha xi minus wj old this is the architecture model for coherent self organizing map where all these x1 xi xn these all are the input vectors and y1 yj ym all these are the clusters so let us uh, look at the question construct ksofm to cluster four given vectors we have been given four vectors number of clusters to be formed is 2 assume an initial learning rate of 0.5 so we have been given two clusters therefore we'll make two clusters y1 and y2 and we have been given four input vectors therefore x1 x2 x3 x4 and they all are connected with the clusters now first step is to initialize the weights randomly between 0 and 1 so this is 0.2 0.4 0.6 0.8 these all represents the weights with which x1 x2 x3 x4 are connected with the cluster y1 And 0.9, 0.7, 0.5, 0.3. These represents the weights with which x1, x2, x3, x4 are connected with the cluster unit y2. Now let us see for the first input vector that is x equal to 0011. We need to calculate the Euclidean distance. How do we calculate the Euclidean distance? Let's see. We need to calculate the Euclidean distance between the cluster one and the input vector 0011. So let us see. D1 is equal to D1 represents the Euclidean distance between the cluster one. and uh, the uh, input vector x1 so we'll uh, do it like this 0.2 since these represents the weight with which all the uh, input vectors are connected to cluster 1 therefore 0.2 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 ka whole square plus 0.4 minus 0 whole square plus 0.6 minus 1 whole square plus 0.8 minus 1 whole square we'll get 0.2 Four. Similarly, we'll calculate the the, uh, the square of the Euclidean distance between the input vector x and uh, the cluster unit y2. We proceed on to the similar manner. 0.9. Since these weight represents the weight with which the input vector is connected to y2, therefore we'll calculate 0.9 minus 0 ka whole square plus 0.7 minus 0 whole square plus 0.5 minus 1 whole square plus 0.3 minus 1 whole square, and we'll calculate d2. That comes out to be 2.04. Now see, d1, d1 is 0.4 and d2 is 2.04. Therefore, whichever is less is called uh, the winning cluster. So d1 will be the winning cluster. Now we'll apply weight updation on the winning cluster unit. That is j equal to one. So w i j new equal to w i j old plus alpha x i minus w i j where j equal to one. So w i one new equal to w i one old plus alpha x i minus w i one old. Now let us see w one one new. Now we'll apply weight updation between. We'll apply w one one new, w two one, w three one, w four one. So w one one new will come out to be w one one old. That is zero point two plus zero point five. That is alpha x one is zero. Minus W11 old is 0.2. That is 0.1. Similarly, W21 new equal to W21 old, which is 0.4 plus alpha 0.5. X2 we we'll calculate X2 is 0. X2 is 0. So 0 minus 0.4 is 0.2. Similarly, W31 new is 0.8. W4 new is W41 new is 0.9. So after presenting the first input vector, we'll get updated weight matrix like 0.1, 0.2, 0.8, 0.9. Since we have updated the weights on cluster one and 0.9, 0.7, 0.0, 0.5, 0.3, 0.3, which will remain the same as we have not applied weight updation in cluster two. Now let us see for the second input vector x equal to 1000. 
we calculate the square of the Euclidean distance. Similarly, d1 is equal to 0.1 minus 1 whole square plus 0.2 minus 0 whole square plus 0.8 minus 0 whole square plus 0.9 minus 0 whole square. We'll get 2.3. Similarly, we'll calculate d2. 0.9 minus 1 whole square, 0.7 minus 0 whole square, 0.5 minus 0.0 whole square, plus 0.3 minus 0 whole square, we calculate 0.84. Now, whichever is lower, since, uh, since D2 is lower, th therefore the winning cluster unit is D2. So, we'll apply weight updation on the cluster 2. So, uh, Wij nu equal to Wij old plus alpha Xi minus Wij old. Since we apply weight updation on uh, J equal to 2, therefore we write W12 nu is equal to W12 old plus alpha X1 minus W12 old which is 0 0.9 plus 0 0.5 into 1 minus 0 0.9 which will get 0 0.95. Similarly, we will get W22 nu as uh, 0 0.35, W32 nu as 0 0.25, W42 nu as 0 0.15. After presenting the second input vector, we'll get updated weight matrix like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.95, 0 0.35, 0 0.25, 0 0.15. For the third input vector, we'll get updated weight matrix like this. And uh, all the values are presented here. Now for the fourth input vector, we'll get the values like this. Here the winning cluster is first winning cluster. So this is the updated weight matrix. And final architecture will be like this. Between Y1 and Y2 and X1, X2, X3, X4. So friends, if you like the video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.